Hello, it is Social Media Saturday, December 28th, 2019. Steve Cypress here as the year and the decade are quickly coming to an end. We got a frost warning here today and usually warm, not extremely hot this time of year, but usually warm and mild and sunny Arizona. So I'm going to make this quick and get back inside by the fireplace with my beautiful wife, Michelle. Still here with my buddy Santa and the Christmas lights still up as we cling to the last remnants of the holiday season. And I bring you on this last social media Saturday of the year, the what I see are two of the leading trends that are going to hitting big in 2020 with social media and you want to be on the cutting edge of them, uh, which Technically, it's already too late to be on the absolute cutting on cutting edge, but as they come into the mainstream, you're going to be left way in the dust if your competitors are on top of these two trends and you are not. And it has to do with uh, these reports, and you've seen me talk about it before if you uh, follow my videos or my blog or my podcast or my YouTube channel or LinkedIn or Facebook or any of that stuff. Uh, this whole thing that... Uh, Oh, studies show that this generation of kids is dumber than the generation before, the first time in history. And of course, that's not true. Of course, they're smarter and more capable than ever, as every generation is. This is no exception. And uh, however, that should be a big sign that those who are studying this stuff are behind the times on what to study. So they things, say things like, well, you know, kids can't even tell time on an analog clock anymore. And they can't tie their shoelaces anymore with Velcro. And they can't write cursive anymore because now they're typing out on their devices. And they can't, you know, to be ridiculous, they can't dial a rotary phone. They can't play tennis with a wooden racket. They don't know how to ride a horse and buggy. They can't read hieroglyphics. They can't tell time with a sundial. I mean, all kinds of technologies that are way in the past and obsolete. Yeah. They don't need them anymore. They can't deal with it anymore. So they're smarter than having to read hieroglyphics or write hieroglyphics or write in cursive. And they're smarter than having to read the time with a sundial or with an analog clock. They don't need any of that stuff. Their brain power isn't taken up like my generation was by learning how to type on a typewriter and, and press the return and, and, and change the ribbon and all this kind of wasted energy and knowledge that we didn't need. They can go right to much more important stuff. And thanks to all the video games, they're much more visually adept. They're much quicker at strategy and at thinking. Those that play these, these games, when, we, when I was a kid, we went outside and played cops and rob and robbers, cowboys and Indians. Oh, how politically incorrect all these games were. And that took time, or, or steal the bacon. Uh, all these games, the strategy took time. Heck, it took time just to get dressed up. Who's going to be the cowboy? Who's going to be the Indian? Where's the gun? Where's the belt? Where's the hat? Where's the whatever? Where do we put the bacon? Who do, how do we hide this? Hide and seek. Where do you hide? Let's count to 100. Strategy games took a while. So there's a skill there, of course, with putting together a strategy game. But heck, kids now, they, they boot the thing up and they're playing their strategy game in one second all day long. Which room should I go into? Who should I shoot? Is that a good guy or a bad guy? Which gun should I use? Should I jump up onto that ledge? Should I open that door? Should I fight this monster? When this playing teams, they're talking to each other. Hey, you go to the left, I go to the right. No, you look high, I look low. You were... They're making a split second decisions, many more decisions than I or anyone I know or anyone I could possibly have known made as kids. The kids are getting smarter and more adept and this leads to the two big trends I'm going to talk about here on Social Media Saturday for social media in 2020 and beyond. You know, 2020, by the way, it's another thing, the end of a year, but the end of a decade. So there's all kinds of this forward-thinking stuff going on. What's going to happen not only for the next year, what's going to happen for the next decade? I'm not going to get that far in advance. <laughs> Who knows what the heck? But I am going to say this, that in 2020, advanced types of search are going to way overtake the way search is done right now. What do I mean by that? Number one way is visually. Many more searches and many, much more social media is gonna be visual than ever before. So less words and less uh, long paragraphs and posts and, and, and 
all that kind of stuff, and more videos, and more images. So a site like Pinterest is going to be a lot more valuable for people selling things on social media, because people can see the item. Same with Instagram, same with Facebook, same with Twitter even, same with TikTok, and any social media site that's coming up is going to be capitalizing on visual search, on images, instead of people typing things in or people looking to read words. That even we talk, I mentioned hieroglyphics are already obsolete. Well, even the written language, believe it or not, is becoming obsolete, not next year, but visual search, which is quicker and more comprehensive and uh, much more valuable to the person doing the search is going to overtake um, written typed word search. Okay, so pay attention to that and make sure that who's ever handling your social media is on top of that trend. And the second trend, and similarly, is voice. Voice search. You know, hey Siri, hey Alexa, hey whatever, voice search. Again, you're too late to be on the cutting edge, as I just mentioned, two of the more popular cert voice search uh, mechanisms. Uh, you want to be using technology, taking advantage of voice search. Uh, when and it's going to be becoming more and more um, complex, uh, more intuitive, not just hey Siri, play this particular song. Sure, Siri can do that. Sure, Alexa can do that. Alexa, play the Beatles, I want to hold your hand. Sure. But uh, in the future, and maybe already, I would never have one of those two spy things in my house recording everything I do. Give me a break. But uh, uh, at least, uh, if it doesn't already, it's going to become more and more human-based, more natural-based, more intuitive. So you're going to be able to say, Siri, uh, play some some, I'm in a good mood, play some upbeat mood music. Uh, play, you know, uh, play a light lilting tune. You know, you're going to be able to say things like that. And the voice is going to recognize it in the search. So when you're selling stuff or when you're putting information out or want, you want to lead people to your website or to buy your products directly or to recommend your whatever it is, you want to take advantage that more and more people are going to be searching with voice. Uh, you can tell people, but they don't seem to be stopping using their phones while they're in the car. We got, uh, I got a, uh, a car charger now, so the car, we don't have to just find wherever we plug the phone into the, the uh, cigarette lighter thing while we're in the car now. We just put it right in the stand, and it automatically grabs it, and it automatically charges it, and it's right there at eye level. So even more, you can use it while you're in the phone with voice, okay? You don't want to be obviously, you know, looking at your phone and typing onto it, but you can certainly talk out loud and the phone can hear it. And you can say, play this kind of song. Uh, I need to find a Mexican restaurant around here that's known for good tacos or known for its good sauce or whatever you want to say. And the phone's going to be able to say, yeah, go two blocks up and make a left. Boom. And you don't have to be paying attention to it, looking at it and doing any of that dangerous stuff, but you're going to be able to search much more easily and much more comprehensively with your voice. So you, if you own a Mexican restaurant, don't you want to be found when someone does the search I just mentioned? Hey, find me a Mexican restaurant with, with really good tacos or find me an Italian restaurant that's uh, Northern Italian style. Find me an Italian restaurant that has good ravioli. Don't you want to be found by these type of searches? So the old days of someone typing in ravioli Italian restaurant, those are going by the wayside. They're going to be replaced by voice search. Find me an Italian restaurant with good ravioli. And the intuitive AI is going to be, so the artificial intelligence is going to search for not only a good restaurant, they're going to search reviews. They're going to search for how many reviews mention ravioli with a positive review with four or five stars and mention the ravioli and all this. They're going to do all this instantaneously. They're going to come up and you want them directing people to your restaurant or your hair salon or your law firm or your dental practice or whatever type of business you have. You want to capitalize on these two trends that are going to absolutely come to the forefront in 2020 and slightly beyond. You do not want to be behind anymore if you are, and you don't want your competitors watching this video if you're not taking advantage of this because they will swamp you and wipe you off the face of the earth. So visual search, 
and voice search are going to become extremely prominent on social media in 2020 and beyond. That is my tip for you as we have our final social media Saturday of the year. That's it. I'm catching a chill. I'm heading back inside. I'll be here to say hello and actually have a tip for you uh, that comes from uh, some holiday TV watching I've been doing with my beautiful wife, Michelle. So other than just checking in saying hello on Sunday fun day, like I usually do once in a while, tomorrow no exception, I'll have a business building tip for you as well. Catch you then over and out from Santa and myself. Bye-bye.